Greetings from Willow, Alaska. My name is Christina Dowling Soka, and I am one of the pastors alongside my spouse, Jody Dowling Soka, here at the Willow United Methodist Church on the Parks Highway, mile 67.5. And as well as being a part of the ministries here at the United Methodist Church, a small but vibrant congregation, we also work very closely with the Willow Community Food Pantry that serves about 170 to 200 families a month and about 60 to 80 children each week in providing food and addressing food insecurity. We are very excited that this is our sixth year as pastors here in Willow. We would not be able to serve here without fundraising that takes place across the lower 48, persons contributing through the advance to Advance Special 931511 for the ministry of having a pastor here and 931520 for the work of the food pantry. And we are thankful for the ways that you as a congregation have supported us in the past. But let me tell you a little bit more about the Willow Community Food Pantry first, and then a little bit more about what we do in the ministries through the church. Right now, our food pantry is expanding. We received a grant that we are working with to build on to what we call the warehouse. The original part of the food pantry was the little building in which our church originally met. And when they built a different facility, a different sanctuary, that got turned into this food pantry where folks could come once a week and gather food. It used to be more like a grocery store style, and we will return to that. But during COVID, we had to turn it inside out. So we made a drive through where people could pick up their groceries. They would receive groceries from us, basic essentials, of breads and vegetables and milk and boxed and canned goods. And then they also would receive if they qualified items from the government and if they're seniors, what we call a senior box. Enough to feed a family for many, many days. Sometimes we are out in the weather in negative 20 degree weather. We've had to learn how to dress warmly as we have engaged in this uh, drive-through type of uh, uh, distribution system. Hopefully, in a few weeks, in a few months, we'll be able to return to more of the grocery style where clients get a lot more choice in what they choose to take home each week. This new warehouse will enable us to have more storage space. We have kind of overflowed into the church during these last two years, so it'll be able to get our food packing operations back within the bounds of the church uh, food pantry, as well as we're bringing in water, which will be wonderful for, uh, for washing vegetables and for, uh, for the volunteers as they need to wash hands. And uh, we are excited about that. The building is coming along. It is under roof and they are drywalling as we speak. Speaking of this lunch program, that is one of the programs that has really grown across the years. We used to be serving about 10 to 20 children, sending home weekend food, about 16, 17 items, lunches, breakfast, bars, and oatmeal, uh, things that you could have for lunch uh, or dinner. Just enough food to help a child make it through the weekend without going hungry. And the needs in our community are great. Poverty is intense. And uh, we have grown in this program to where we were sending at the end of last year about 60 food bags and then also giving 20 to 30 out through the pantry itself. So those are greatly well received. We have volunteers come almost every Tuesday morning to put those together. And we've been doing that in the church facility. Now that will move to the new warehouse as that building is completed. I wish you could hear the school nurse talk about the delight that the children get as they receive these bags, or I see that every week as I'm on the food line handing these out. Our ministry to children continues in the summer through our partnering with the library to provide lunches for children and their families who come 
to the food to the library for the summer reading program. Some 60 to 70, uh, sometimes as low as 40, but in that range each week we provide lunches and this is the basis of a time of fellowship for these families who come together. When we couldn't meet in person, we took it on the road and our food pantry van was used to take food out to, the, to uh, several uh, intersections where we distributed food and they distributed, the library distributed books to the children who would come. We also have a very extensive firewood cutting ministry here. Usually that is made possible by volunteer mission teams that come up and working side by side with some of the recipients for that wood, families who need wood to survive through the winter. They would come and cut we would fill up two uh, storage sheds with that wood and we would give away one each winter, usually in January, for emergency needs. This last year was so cold and the snows were deep and many of our families were at risk. As I said before, we are a region which as well as having uh, ordinary homes in the middle class range has, range has persons with intense poverty, persons who live in in shacks and buses, persons who live off the grid with, with no heat and no water, no electricity, and it is a chore for them to gather enough wood for the winter. Last year, the needs were particularly intense in that the snows were heavy and deep, and it was hard for persons even to get to their wood sources. Occasionally, we will help individual families. This last uh, couple of months, we worked alongside uh, Chaplain Brian Anderson, who brought a team from Alaska Pacific University, and we were able to build a woodshed for a person very much in need. As far as the church goes, we are a typical church. Our distances are huge, though. The next church north of us is 300 miles in Fairbanks. The next church south of us is Christ First in Wasilla. So the area that our little church covers is huge. On a Sunday morning, we might have anywhere from 20 to 40 in worship. We are thankful for each one and they come to us, uh, some traveling uh, quite a distance on a Sunday morning to come and worship the living Christ together. Without the funding enabling a salary support for Jody and I, our congregation could not support a full-time pastor. And why that's important here is there aren't churches very near that you could pair up with, say as we do in the lower 48 with churches on a charge, and the winter driving would be very intense. But why it's really important is we are appointed to be pastors to the whole community here. And so you will see our pastors, Pastor Dan before us and Jody becoming very involved when tragedies like uh, two enormous fires uh, passed through and, and destroyed many homes and properties these last, uh, within the last 10 years. In both cases, our pastors stepped up to chair long-range recovery groups and to see that the uh, buildings and the aid uh, from UMCOR and other places would get to the people who need it the most. We are delighted to be very involved in the Willow community. It is a great place to be in ministry. And so, we welcome and we need your support. We need your support to fund us and support our salaries as pastors. Again, that's advance number 931511. And we need uh, support for the food pantry. During the pandemic, the cost of running the food pantry has doubled because the needs are so great. And the way that we are doing it in the drive through method is great as well. Two other things to tell you about. We have wonderful special events that come through the food pantry at Thanksgiving time and Christmas time. We provide the fixings for Thanksgiving dinner. At Christmas time, churches from all over send us scarves, handmade scarves and handmade hats that we distribute. They send new clothing that we're able to give to families. And families here locally participate alongside the Lions Club in helping us to get uh, toys in a secret Santa type of fashion to the children who need it the most. Our Christmas event, our Christmas celebration packages day is a great event, look forward to. We also provide school supplies and backpacks, uh, partnering with neighboring churches to the children in our community in the fall. 
Thank you again for all your support. I could go on and on and tell you about the ministries here. It is just so wonderful to know that you care about this tiny community in Willow, Alaska that has such great needs. And we are thankful that you are partnering with us to share the love of Jesus, to provide food and warmth and clothing in the style of Matthew 25. As you did it to the least of these, you did it unto me. Thank you again and again for blessing with your partnership so that we here as the United Methodist Church and we here as the Willow Community Food Pantry can make a difference in this beautiful corner of the world.